Well, hello everybody. Happy Monday. Uh, I'm getting a glare. Do you see a glare? I see a glare. <laughs> Happy Monday. Anyway, today I'm going to do, first of all, I just want to say there's some new members in my beauty page. So hello, welcome. My name is Amanda, if you don't already know me. I'm 45 years old and I like to do makeup. I love makeup. It makes me feel better. It's me time. It makes me feel good about myself. So that's why I do it. Um, I like to review new makeup on here. I love to share my beloved makeup, Saint Makeup, which um, I have used for years and years. Um, and maybe fashion going forward. I don't know. I still haven't uh, decided on that yet. Um, these past two years, I've been dealing with melasma, which is something new to me, which is just like, it looks like freckles, like brown freckles on the skin. Um, so I've had to cover that up. Um, and I'm starting to get breakouts like all the time. I don't want to say the P word, perimenopause, but that might be what it is. I don't know. I Googled it. So anyway, if I Googled it, it's true. So anyway, let's get started, shall we? Um, today I'm gonna show you a full face of my makeup, um, which I have been loving. And I'm gonna show you how to cover spots uh, if you happen to get some beauty marks that you don't want, okay? Some red beauty marks. So first what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go in with a green corrector. You heard me right, green. Green neutralizes red, okay? So I'm going to take this little dandy green corrector and I'm just gonna use my finger. This is a cream and it's gonna look weird because you're like, ew. But trust me, I'm just, see how I'm just stamping it on my breakout? You gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna rub it in. I'm gonna leave it there. Why am I talking like that? Okay. Same thing with this little doohickey. Oh, it still hurts. They're like under the skin ones. So I know it's like my hormones going freaking nuts. Um so again, I'm just gonna dab it. I'm gonna leave it there. I have done a lot of tutorials where I've done, I've used my brushes, but today I'm gonna use the sponge because why not? A lot of people use the sponge, the beauty sponge. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna do that for them today and show them how I use my beauty sponge. Now, some of you don't know, and that's okay, but when you get a beauty sponge, you're supposed to run it under your tap water and squeeze all of the water out so the sponge gets large okay so it's a damp see i'm squeezing it no water's coming out it's just a damp beauty sponge so if you didn't know that now you do okay so i'm going to go in with my 3d saint foundation and i picked it up on my sponge here and now i'm just going to dab dabby 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 my foundation. Notice how I haven't touched these spots. I'm not going to. Okay. So I'm going to start pressing foundation. Thank God for foundation. I mean, like, what did the ladies back in the day, I mean, I guess they didn't have all the crap that we have now, like food and all the crap that we drink, like my Coca-Cola, or, I mean, all they had was like water, tea, and wine, and like liquor and shit, right? So, I don't know. Um, but, ew, I would have hated not being able to you know, 
like wear makeup back in the day. So even though like I love um, like history and like I'm always like, God, I was meant to live back in the 1800s or the 19, the early 1900s, you know, like, but then I think about it and I'm like, I mean, obviously I want to live in a decade where there was antibiotics. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want to live, like, what year was that? Like the 20s? Is that the year that we started to get, like, vaccines and medicine? You know, that weren't, like, natural remedies, I guess they called them. But, like, actual, like, penicillin and shit. Um, obviously, I want to live, like, when that started. <laughs> So anyway, um, but yeah, like, uh, could you imagine just going around with pimples and melasma and rosacea and whatever else people have and they just had to endure it and just feel that sense of just, you know, I don't know. Am I thinking, am I going too far with this? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so there we go. 3D foundation is on. It neutralized that red. But if you feel like you still want a little bit more coverage, I'm taking a concealer that is the same as my skin tone. And, oops. See, look, I couldn't even remember where it was. And I'm going to go over it just a little bit more. I'm going to let that sit on the skin for just a little... Uh, a little bit so it can kind of get warm melt in while I do my concealer under my eyes here I don't use a lot I don't want them to look extra creepy creepy okay now I'm going in with the sponge again and dabbing that in and I'm sorry if I'm being a heavy breather but my nose is a little stuffed my family got me sick. They were all sick and now I'm the last one to get it. Okay. 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 Now take that sponge. And I'm going to dab it until it blended into my skin. So guys, Oh, look at that. Nice. Nice. Okay, Halloween's coming up. My favorite holiday of all time. But um, I'm having a girls like Halloween movie night. Um, and like what movie should I play or movies? We're going to like drink. We're going to get our drink on and our eat on. And I'm going to have snacks and popcorn and junk and sugar and all the good things. And I'm going to have like a witch's brew, like cocktail. So, um, I'm doing my, uh, contour. Okay. Again, everything I'm using my sponge. I'll list all my products below if you guys want to know what they are. Um, I'm always happy to talk about makeup. <laughs> um, sponge. What was I saying? Um, oh yeah, I'm having that party. Not party, but just like a movie night. And I had it last year and it was so fun. We just sat, we did it with the new movie, the um, Hocus Pocus movie, which I hate to burst anyone's bubble who hasn't seen the second one, but I was not a fan of the second one, I just have to say. I mean, there were parts of it that I really liked and it was like, oh, that's funny. But, I mean, the first one, it just, I don't know. It just, it was very Hollywood, the way that it was made, right? Like, politically correct. Like, afraid to hurt someone's feelings. So, like, all the little jabs that were made, like, in the 90s movie, like, were, weren't there. Um that just made it funny, right? Like, if you can't laugh at something without, 
like being offended like I mean really I mean I know that's the world we live in now but it sucks it really does um but anyway we watched that movie last year and it was just a disappointment I just I didn't care for it at all so this year we're having a scary movie night and I'm trying to decide what to watch. Like I want to do like the original like Halloween or the original like Nightmare on Elm Street because you know those kids like F'd you up as a kid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so I want that. But then again, when you watch them at this age now, you're like, oh my God, it's like not as scary as I thought. Um, but they're still good classics. Um, so I don't know what to do or a new one, like a new scary movie. Um, but what's a good one that's not cheesy? Um, anyway, I don't know. So why don't you write some scary movies below that you think that would be good? And I'm talking like legit scary ass movies. Oh my God, I've already been on 11 minutes and I'm talking and I'm not doing my makeup. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, now I'm going into the highlighter on my cheekbones. Um, again, using my sponge, just dabbing it into my cream here um, on the tops of my cheeks. See that beautiful glow it gives me? A little on the bridge of my nose. Cupid's bow. Okay. Nice. Nice. All right, now I'm doing the blush. Okay, so I'm going to use a brush for the blush and then just kind of use my beauty blender because that's the way I like to do it. And I stamp it on. Um, so anyway, leave me a comment below. Dang, that looks good. It's so healthy. <laughs> um, leave me a comment and give me some scary ass movies. You know, we're all going to be in our pajamas. We're going to be drinking witch's brew and eating a ton of junk, you know, like a good old girl's slumber party, but without the staying the night because, you know, got to get up to our families and our kids and shit. Like can't sleep over anymore unless it's a girl's weekend and then it's different. Okay. So highlighter, blush, foundation. Concealed my spots. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of that blush because it is a lip and cheek. To give me a little bit of a lippy, a lippy lip. So there we go. Full face foundation. Um, using my corrector, which I'll list that below too, if you want to try that out and grab a little tin, um, for whenever you have some spots or some breakouts, um, it really neutralizes the red underneath. So it doesn't pull out, um, when you put your foundation on top of it. So this is it. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Thanks for the chat and I'll see you soon. Bye. Love ya.